Hello students, hello how are you all? Hope you were fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to Nine Fazum School and this is Iful Islam, Assistant Teacher of English, National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I'm going to take an Bangladesh and Global Studies class for class 80 students. Our today's topic, chapter 2, lesson 3 and 4 discussions. So my dear students, let's see our today's class. Class 8. Subject Bangladesh and Global Studies Topic Chapter 2 Lesson 3 for Discussion Tom Havili Lecture 2 is the will be 2 Teacher Ariful Islam This is my mobile number and to the state So my dear students Open your book You know this is your book Bangladesh and Global Studies book For class 8 And go to Chapter 2 Lesson 3 as you can see, topic chapter 2, lesson 3 and 4, half yearly exam lecture 2. So let's see, lesson 3, the hellish genocide of 25th March. So, genocide means mass killing, massacre. Mass, the genocide conducted by Pakistani soldiers on the night of 25th March, 1971 in the Aden East Pakistan, was named Operation Sarslight. So the operation, the massacre, the genocide conducted by Pakistani army on that night, to defeat Mars, is called Operation Sarslight. Though this operation started on the night of 25th Mars, Mars, its preparation had started from the beginning of March. A sheep named, very important, MB White loaded with arms and weapons reached Chattogram port from West Pakistan on 3rd March. President Yahya stayed at Dhaka from 15 to 24th March in the name of discussion. So Yahya Khan were staying at Dhaka at the time of killing the time with Bangabandhu but actually he stayed at Dhaka to supervise the preparation of Operation Searchlight. According to Operation Sasline, the responsibility of conducting genocide in Dhaka city was given to Major General Rao Farman Ali of Pakistani Army. According to the plan, Pakistani soldiers wanted to take control of EPR headquarters at Pil Khana and Rajarbag police lines. The primary responsibilities of the soldiers were to attack Dhaka University, Dhaka Engineering University, to arrest Bangabandhu to control telephone exchange, radio, television, state bank, communication system of Dhaka city and to arrest Malik leaders and to seize the arms of all Bengali soldiers of Russia, Jasho. We are moving to next phase. Khulna, Rangpu, Soyedpur and Kumila cantonments and all members of EPR, arms and police departments. Outside Dhaka, this operation was conducted by General Ithadam Hussein Raja. The head of this operation was Lieutenant General Tikka Khan. Very important. So, Pakistani soldiers came out at the streets from Dhaka cantonment at 11.30 pm on 25th March. A procession in support of liberation became the first target of Pakistani soldiers at Farmgate. At the same time, attack was carried on at Pilkhana and Rajarbak police lines. Pakistani soldiers mercilessly killed many of people on that night. Attack was conducted in the halls of Dhaka University at dead of night. Pakistani soldiers in Iqbal Hall, now Jorulak Hall and Jagunnath Hall and killed many innocent sleeping students. They conducted mass killings also at Dhaka Hall, Shoydullah Hall, Rokia Hall University resident area, 10 teachers and 300 students employ and employees of Dhaka University were killed during the genocide in March. The railway slums near Jorulak Hall were on fire and the result of this was heavy destruction. 7-8,000 innocent people were killed on the night of 25th March. According to the plan of Operation Sasli, the Pakistani soldiers arrested Bangabandhu from his 32 Nang Dhanmondi house at 1.30 a.m. on 25th March at the start of 26 months. Before being arrested, Bangabandhu declared independence and gave a clarion call to his countrymen to launch war. 
So we are moving in the next page. Lesson four: Declaration of Independence by Bangabandhu, one to the six months. The Declaration of Independence by Bangabandhu, one to the six months, was a very significant event in the history of Liberation War. He said, "This is perhaps my last speech." Bangladesh is independent from today. I urge upon all the people of Bangladesh to face the occupation forces with all what you have. You will have to carry on the war till the last soldiers of Pakistani force is driven away and ultimate independence is achieved. The Bangladesh Gazette, 15th Amendment of the Constitution, 3rd July 2011. So the declaration was sent to Chattogram by Wallace. The Omali leaders of Chattogram came forward to broadcast this. There were some enthusiastic and patriotic employees at Chattogram Radio Center. They converted uh, Kalurghat Railway Relay Station into the Independent Revolutionary Radio Center. Abdul Hannan, the Secretary of Chattogram Omali, broadcast this message of declaration on behalf of Bangabandhu at noon on 26 months. Major Jia Rahman read out the Declaration of Independence on 27 March from the same radio center on behalf of Bangabandhu. This Declaration of Independence broadcast by the wireless center created inspiration and expectation in the people at all levels. The liberation war got a real shape with the Declaration of Independence on 26 March. Though the preparation of liberation war of Bangladesh was sporadic at the initial stage, gradually it turned into a civil war. The members of army, EPR, police and answer joined all types of people such as farmers, workers, students and young men in this war. So my dear students, your SW will be able to submit on Saturday, make 10 OWA from chapter 1, lesson, sorry, this will be chapter 2, this will be chapter 2, chapter 2. Chapter 2, Lesson 3 and 4. This will be make 10 OWA from Chapter 2, Lesson 3 and 4. So, thanks for watching this class, my dear students. Stay safe, stay well. See you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.